masters of duct tape, cardboard, and hot glue, making cosplay out of everyday materials. They are the DIY Costume Squad. Hey, welcome to the show. I'm Dustin, and welcome to our brand new DIY workshop. Today, I'm going to be making Captain Jack Sparrow because you guys have requested it a whole bunch. So, I'm gonna be making it, and it's gonna be pretty straightforward, just out of some found pieces of clothing that I found at some thrift stores. So, let's take a look at what we've got here. A lot of baggy, flowing clothes. Red bandana, then we've got the whole wig situation, and I've got some beads and things, pants, boots, some guns and a sword, but really I'm looking at like fairly basic articles of clothing that I just need to pair up and find the right patterns and the right colors on. And then I'll um, have to figure something out for his makeup because it's very iconic. And he's got like a double goatee kind of happening. I'll figure it out. So I think I'm going to start with the top half. I got this white dress shirt. This was $6. It's pretty baggy. Might have to modify it a little bit. All right, sufficiently baggy. Probably just take the buttons off. I'm just gonna fold this seam in before I connect it all, so I'm just hot gluing it. Just gonna reinforce the inside with a little tape. All right, so that's pretty much it for the blouse. Kinda just modified it a little bit. So now, I'm going to work on the vest. I found this in the uh, the ladies section of the thrift store, which I browse around a lot looking for stuff. I mostly was focused on this pattern. It's really close to the one um, in the pictures, which is blue with a little bit of like a gold kind of paisley pattern. So I love this. I just need to turn it into a vest. Okay, don't need that. I have no choice but to just put this on. Oh, welcome, welcome to the yoga class. So basically, I need to try and cut it here. We cut these wings off. Glue these sides back together here. Now we'll reinforce the inside of that seam with some cloth tape. Guess I'll try this on. <laughs> yeah, it's looking pretty good. Okay, cool. So now that I see how this hangs down, I'll just kind of straighten this line out. Okay, I straightened that one side. I'm gonna use this piece I cut off to know the exact pattern for the other side. Looks more like a vest now. Those edges are straighter. So moving on, he's got this little uh, scarf that just hangs out on one of his belts. It's white with a red stripe. So, as I'm looking through the clothes at the thrift store, I came across the most absolutely perfect bit of fabric. I almost jumped for joy right there in the store. So I just bought this shirt. I'm just gonna cut a piece out of it and it's like really ratty. So I'm gonna see if I can just rip this. Oh, yeah. All right, so I wanted this to be a bit longer so I'm just gluing together a handful of different pieces. Yeah. yeah, adequately long, I think. Actually, you know, I'll make it even a little bit more ratty. His is like torn up. There we go. All right, so that's that. Now we got a few other pieces here. We got the pants, and these were six bucks. Nothing really special to these, other than I just looked for the exact right color. So literally not doing anything to these. So those are done. And then I picked up these brown boots. Now these are also women's boots. Um, they're a little small on me, but they fit. These were $10. Really going for height here. This is the highest boot I could find at that particular store, brown leather. You know, this isn't perfectly accurate to his costume, but I think when it's all um, put together, it's gonna look really cool. So I'm not gonna do anything else to these. Okay, so moving on to the belts. He's got tons of belts just hanging all over the place. So I tried to find some that had really great buckles. These were $4 a piece. Here's a pretty nice snazzy one. Oh, that's very piratey. This one's brown, so that's good. This is really piratey, I love this one. And then, while I was looking through the belts, I found this really great belt that's made up of a bunch of little beads. So, I'm gonna hang on to these for later, because I'll be using these beads all over. He's got beads everywhere, his hair, that was a good find. So, for these, I think I'm going to just mask off the buckle part and then spray paint them brown.
Okay, those are all masked off, so I'm gonna take these outside to paint them. Now I picked up this brown spray paint for about four bucks, so let's do it. Okay, parking lot, the new paint station. <laughs> Okay. There we go. Hmm, it's a little small. I can extend the back by cutting it right here. All right, so I'm just gonna use some craft foam. You can get a sheet like this for 99 cents at the craft store. Gonna hit this with a little bit of brown spray paint and then we're good to go. Can't even tell, I extended it. Yeah. Belt, belt, belt. Okay, so it's time to move on to his wig and his bandana. Now I'm pretty sure I have the perfect wig. We've used this tons of times for homemade movies. This is the one. Okay, this was a Jesus wig, and we have used it a ton of times on homie movies. This was even used as Chewbacca one time. Turned it around backwards and put the face on it. So I think this is gonna be perfect for Jack Sparrow. So along with the wig, I'm gonna use this red shirt that I've got for six bucks. I'm gonna cut that up and use it for the bandana. Also have some twine. I don't know how much this costs usually, but we had some. And those beads that I got on that belt. So I'm gonna look at the pictures and just try and make it look like Jack Sparrow. Okay, so I've basically made one really long piece. That's basically how it works. He's got this huge braid and it goes over the bandana. So I'm about to braid up in here. Now I've got two older sisters, so I'm a pretty good braider. Bam, braided, son. He's got some scraps tied onto one of them. I love it when certain colors just instantly make you think of the character. I mean, like, just this alone looks like Jack Sparrow to me. It's really cool. So he's got this little bone or something hanging out on the side of his head. I don't know what that is. So I'm gonna try and think of something that might work for that. Oh, zip tie. It's not quite as thick, <laughs> but a zip tie kind of looks like it. I'm gonna cut the tops off all of them and kind of glue them together into one big thick one. I think we've got another braid in our future. So I guess I could explain how to do a braid in case you don't know. You take your three pieces and then you constantly take the outside one from one side and then the outside one from the other side and put them in the middle and just keep going like that. All right, beads, he's got some beads. Just gonna tie that one just like that on there. So I'm basically just looking at a bunch of reference pictures and adding twine, beads, braids, just kind of here and there. They don't have to be exact, but I'm just kind of like giving it a good mix of things. All right, so it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna just hot glue the bandana into place because I'm scared that it's gonna just fall apart when I try and put it on my own head. It needs a masking tape dread. Okay, there we go. I think I'm gonna stop there. I could probably keep going, but before I move on, Jack Sparrow has this kind of double goatee situation. They're braided and they hang down. So I'm just gonna steal some hair from the back of here so I can glue them with spirit gum to my face. Unbraid, unbraid. Okay, so I'm hoping that that will be enough that I can kind of glue that to my chin. All right, so last little finishing touch here is the rings. I picked these up at the costume shop. These were 99 cents each, and this one I think was maybe two bucks. They're made for children, so I'm gonna cut them. Okay, now it is time for makeup. So I'm gonna look at some pictures and try and draw some stuff on my face. 
Okay, black eyeliner pencils. This is lipstick, but the good thing about his makeup is that it's very sloppy to begin with. This is my second Johnny Depp costume for the show, and the second time I've had to put dark eye makeup on. So I'm noticing a trend here. All right, so now I'm gonna attempt to attach uh, this wonderful little goatee to my face. Oh yeah. All right, so that worked. Uh, I guess it's time to put the whole thing on. All right, I think it's time to go show off the full costume. Where's the rum? Who's got the rum? I knew I'd find the rum right away. Thanks, love. Mm. Hello. How are you? Good, I'm jealous your hair looks better than mine. Oh, thank you, thank you, love. I spent ages on it. <laughs> I'm not in your shot, am I? Another shoot happening? <laughs> I think the internet just exploded. <laughs> hey, Captain Jack Sparrow. I am transformed. I spent about 60 bucks on this uh, with all the clothes and everything. Um, I added a few accessories here though. Um, I already had this sword in our weapons bin, uh, but I picked up these old fashioned pirate guns. They were six bucks a piece. And I already had the wig of course, but I think when it was new five years ago, it was 20 bucks. So that's pretty much it though. I'm a pirate, not just any pirate, Captain Jack Sparrow. I mean, you could probably pick up a costume for cheaper, but it's gonna, it's gonna be lame. This is like very authentic. It's ripped, it's heavy duty. All right, so thanks for sending in those suggestions. Let us know what other DIY costumes you wanna see us try and make, and be sure to subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time on another DIY Costume Squad. Yo-ho, a pirate's life for me.